we up. A lonely soldier with a body, she watch you burn out. Lonely soldier with a body, she watch you burn out. This is all over the net. So okay. Okay, why did he do that again? Uh, because he's fucking stupid and he's no, not a type I mean, of nigga who know what black folks went through. We don't do that. I don't give a fuck if you mix mulatto or whatever the fuck. My cousins who are literally full on Mexican and black ain't never thought about no shit like this. You get what I mean? Only a motherfucker who has not who is not a part of the culture. Like, bro, that's fucked up, bro. You look weird. You're fucked off, my nigga. Like, who would possess you to do some shit like that? Why would you wear blackface and then all of a sudden? You come over here claiming that you black as a motherfucker, rocking our music, playing this, playing that, right? It's like you want to be accepted. And once you got accepted, you've used that and monopolized as much as you can on that. And nobody's hating on that. That's the crazy part with black folks. We don't hate on that. We don't hate on you making your money. What we start looking at is how thorough are you? You know what I mean? How real? Are you? Wait, wait, wait. Drake said how Kendrick is, keeps talking about freeing the slaves. If you're any part of black culture, you know what that statement means. Like, what? Nigga, that's my culture. That's well, see a person like Drake. Yeah, but that's know his culture too. Like, why are you thinking this? That's not that's part of Drake's part. culture. Jewish family raised by his Jewish mom, raised as a Jewish person. Wait, he didn't Come know on. his dad? No, but so he, he looks his dad black. Older, but he didn't have, Miss Cat, he didn't have the, you know how black niggas in America would have some resentment to their dad leaving their mama, right? He didn't have that with us. He grew up nicely. He grew up in a nice, comfortable suburb house. Mom lived like the fucking king. You know what I mean? He had, Drake had a bar he had mitzvah. A bar mitzvah. Anyway. He, he didn't have okay, no birthday guys, party. He had a bar yeah, mitzvah. This is what I'm saying. It's like, we're, we're assuming, assuming that he doesn't know about black experience, but people, black people in Canada do have a black experience. There is racism there. There was slavery in yeah. Canada. No, he don't know yeah. about it. Yeah, that's what we're talking stop. about. He, you guys stop. He's not a he does he don't. About it. Okay, if he knows about it, that just makes it worse. Well, no, what I'm <laughs> saying is you're acting like he oh, doesn't know. No, no, you said he knows not. about it. So, oh. no, okay. Let's say he knows about it. Now he really messed up. You know why? He did blackface and he knows about it. He just screwed up even bigger. That's a good you just made it. You just made it worse for him. That's a real I good didn't make it worse. <laughs> I didn't make it, it worse did. because it depends oh, you made it much on the conversation on why he did that. Which we don't it, it, know. It does not depend just, on nothing. I think there needs to be more questions. No asked. black person is going to say, oh, I'm going to do blackface. Why would they not? What why the? would they not? Yeah, what depending the? on what the... Because what I'm saying is, you guys, we haven't asked what? enough questions. But, uh, First of all, why did he do that? Ain't what no questions for blackface. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the... If he was doing some kind of production where they required that or is some kind of skincare line, don't care. Don't know. Nobody's all taking I'm that. Thing is, we don't know all the answers. So why are we assuming that he's making fun of black people? Like, why are we assuming that? He did it not even understanding what blackface is. The person is not knowledgeable, right, about what they're doing or maybe that they offended you. Why are we trying to crucify him to the cross if he's not aware? Miss Cat, if we stick to that logic of what you were saying, or he knew already. And then Walter is right. Okay, Miss Miss Cat, let's say that he knew. That even makes this whole blackface even more fucked up, right? But we're saying he don't know about our co our culture, so that's why. Like he don't really know it in depth like us. Like he ain't never smell pressing combs in the morning, right? You he don't know that. Asked, what his come up, Miss Cat? Are you? You keep acting this? like he ain't been around no black people all his life. He just woke up and became a rapper. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. No, that's not how it went down. He didn't wake up and say, I want to be a rapper because I've never been around black people and I just want to uh, rap like black uh, people do. Okay, Miss Cat, if I could show you a video. There's where, a lot where, of black people in Canada. Miss Cat, if I could show you a video where Drake, Drake is saying, my nigger, not my nigga, my nigger, would that prove anything? How, it, how touch he was with the culture when he was growing up? Right, we're talking about him growing up in the culture, right? Okay, but well, hold on. Talk about being black enough, right? Being Pressure. in depth, like you could be mulatto. Hold on, hold on. You could be mulatto and be black as fuck. Question: right? You don't have to just have a black daddy and a black mama. We're talking about are you in touch with the culture? There's a lot of black people from across the globe. But why do we have an expectation that a black person that's not American has to, hold on, has to, to, has like to know our culture in order to play music or do anything? Like, no, we're our Even the Africans won't do it. 
our culture is just different. Our culture is not supreme. Does that make sense? Like our black culture is what it is, but that doesn't mean we're supreme and that people have to like follow our culture to be accepted. Like you can be black from Nicaragua. You can be black from Africa. They're not going to say nigger because that's not something they use, but they're blacker than we are. This cat, you you really must be naive to that. The motherfuckers is ruthless. As I don't think is. he's ruthless. I just think that we need to ask more questions and we need to find out what the connotation was for this before we start crucifying him to the cross. That's all I'm saying. Oh my God. Are you really? Oh my God. We need to ask so questions. We, need- we don't know. But Miss Cat, listen, his dad would tell would have told him, son, <laughs> this is not cool. You just said that he was raised by a bunch of Jewish. Now you're saying that his dad raised him and told him all this stuff. Like, which one is it? Like, I was never saying that. that, No, his dad raised him. Why you? I've never said that his dad raised him. He was never raised by his dad. Yeah, but I I doubt his dad took him aside and said, "Hey, son, let me tell you about blackface." Like that ain't nothing that a man. Clearly, we know he didn't. We know that. We know that. He would have did it. Talk to me about blackface. Yeah, do you know about blackface? All right, all right. Hold on, hold on. My hold on. dad never right, had that here. conversation with me. But do you know about you it? You know why? Okay. Do you know? Okay. <laughs> and Miss Cat, the reason why our parents don't teach us about blackface, because of where it comes from. That's why we don't think the shit is cool. Right? My grandmother never sat me down and said, hey, son, this is blackface. No. When I seen the shit, I said, that shit don't feel cool. And then when my grandmother told me, hey, yeah, son, that's not cool. They used to do that to clown us back in the day. They used to mock us. That was shit that white people did to mock black people. Right? Well, I'm going to tell you as an artist and as a thespian, we look at things differently. We look at it as art. Hold on. Hold on. That's art to you, Cat, Miss Cat? Is that art to you? If you're going to a theatrical play and they're doing something that is from the 60s or 50s or whatever is like that art to you is that art to it you? it depends on the not doing theater and all it. that this is gonna kill it if that's art to you miss cap what type of shirt is he wearing mm. Mm, mm, mm. And, i can't see it on it too. what does it say jim what what do you think what, what is that what, what's that character it's, I don't know the character. That's what I'm asking. No, no. What is the character though? Like, what kind of animal is that? I can't tell. It looks like a duck. Okay. Is it a okay. duck? It ain't a duck. It ain't a duck. But what other what? blackbirds you got? Blackbirds. Jim, I what, Miss Cat? Jim, oh what, Miss Cat? What's it? Jim That's what I'm what? saying. Tell me what, because I don't know. Crow. You don't know what Jim Crow. Okay. I, 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 I don't even want to. I don't even want to keep. Okay, so going. I know about Jim Crow laws. Yes. Right. So being blackface, wearing a Jim Crow shirt, you don't think that's something weird? You guys keep missing the main point. I'm trying to say is that this, you're there is no me. main point to somebody wearing blackface with Jim Crow. <laughs> you guys, there is a point oh because listen, with Jim you Crow, don't know, you don't okay. know the connotation as to why. He had this on. We do. Gotta listen to Matthew. Okay. okay, I'm just telling you. Like, we're making assumptions. We have no idea where this came from. Was it an ad? Was okay. it? Are you going? Was it a representation what? of something? Was it? Was it meant to tell people, "Hey, this is where we came from. This isn't cool." It was okay. it. Hey, let's right. make a new fashion statement. Let's change the mindset of what this means. We don't know. We're assuming. Are Are you gonna wear a Jim Crow shirt, jacket, or anything that says Jim Crow on it? I mean, people wore FUBU, and I didn't think that was cool. Compared to something that's bringing a group of people's up. You okay, can't so compare listen, that. Listen, this is what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> I'm going to give you an example. You said the Jim Crow was, like, messed up because, like, of what it used to stand for, right? <clears throat> the rainbow represents God will never destroy the earth by water. Wait, oh, so am I supposed to not wear a shirt that has a rainbow on it, knowing the real meaning of what the rainbow means because someone hijacked it? Like, that's what I'm saying. So people can take something that was negative (laughs) or positive and make it into negative or positive. So what was the real meaning of Jim Crow? He we know that Jim Crow laws were set in place to hold us back. 
what he may be doing is saying, hey, let's mm. change the narrative of what this means and make it into something that's a Who fad. Who the hell not. wants to change the narrative of somebody being enslaved? Who wants to change the narrative of making a, a, a rainbow that's supposed to mean God's love for us into we're gay we don't we're give proud. a damn about a rainbow. We I give do. a damn about our people. I do. We do care about the rainbow. <laughs> we care about our rainbow people. Symbol, the rainbow symbol has been hijacked okay. to be something that's negative, that it's not supposed to be. That's what into something negative, in my opinion. No offense to anybody who's gay. I just feel like, you know, the rainbow got hijacked and it means something different than what it was supposed to mean. So it's the same concept. Trying to find something you guys could relate to. Changing of connotations. I get you. All I'm saying, people, Drake is not is 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 not cultured, and definitely, if he's putting on blackface and oh, this was something that was done in the past, and people want to call it art. All right, cool. There's some points. There's some point in time, like he didn't even get the extent by even using Tupac's voice on a record AI. Like he just thought it was cool. Like that's some suburban white kid shit. That you know what I mean? That's a privileged motherfucker who feel like he could just do some shit like that. Okay. No dude, no dude from the fucking West Coast will ever take a fucking Tupac verse and Snoop AI and put that as a diss record to another West Coast artist. Like you just don't do that. Like that's just shit you don't do. Who like, defines I'm not the rules? Use- uh, the unspoken rule, uh, life, uh, <laughs> the streets, uh, shit. Oh, the streets. Shit. Okay. Shit you, can't, you can't do rap. No, Miss Cat, you can't just take one thing I said. You have to take both. I said life, the streets, morals. You know what I mean? Like, you have to use all these things. If you go just pick one of them, that's not fair. I'm just saying. Well, do you think I have to be on welfare and have five kids to be able to rap about hardship? Culture. If you've never that's been shot, you can't talk about being shot. If you never, right. if you never okay, been in the so game, you can't about, talk about gang culture. Rap that's about right. um, having a. If you don't know how to cook, like, you can't you, tell nobody the ingredients of no food. <laughs> 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 <laughs>